I mean, the NBA has been nothing short of exciting. But let me get to the Draymond situation first. It's something I just made a TikTok about in, in my initial reactions. But now that I have some time to think, now that I have some time to watch the game a little bit further, it upsets me even more. It upsets me that Draymond Green, the veteran that he is, the leader that he is, the mind that he is in the NBA, is resorting to such continuous things. I mean, the Warriors have just not been playing good this year. Yes, they have wins. Yes, they're staying afloat, which is good. But Wiggins hasn't been playing well. Just Chris Paul has had his moments here and there. Kuminga has been playing decent, but not good enough. Klay Thompson's shooting the ball well, but everything else is just simply mid. And you have Draymond Green, who's seemingly the center of attention at Golden State, not Steph Curry, who's playing absolutely amazing. But Draymond Green, with these continuous comments and the continuous antics, I mean, I know he's done this for years. I know he's built a reputation of, of being someone who, who, who's very animated, who's very characterized, who's very opinionated. Who the referee is going to hear for 48 minutes straight, whether he's playing, whether he's on the bench, doesn't matter. But what just happened in this game is unacceptable. It is. Because the war you the Warriors are in a dire situation right now. The the Western Conference is absolutely amazing. I mean, you from top to bottom, from the left, there's people arguing about the 12th and 13th seed, about who's going to make it into the playoffs. Who could be an eighth seed? Like this is a this is a conference with now the Houston Rockets. Well, I'm also going to talk about where it's almost 14, 15 teams deep. The Jazz, who aren't in contention for making the playoffs, are still going to give you a competitive game each and every single night. And if you play around with any team, they're going to punch you in the mouth. But we're getting ejected two minutes in the games, three minutes in the games. What are we doing? What are we doing? That's selfish. Just putting your team in a harder situation than it's already been in. A team that has not been playing well. Not been the Warriors team that we know. That age is obviously catching up to them. I mean, we could only imagine and, and, and say hypotheticals about how long or how more, how more effective Klay Thompson could have been if not for the two injuries, which, I mean, it was just absolutely horrible. I mean, I... I enjoy Klay Thompson, who he is as a shooter, as a player, and having him out the league for two years has been rough. But this is what it is. This is what it is now in 2023. And to have this continuous like attitude towards the game, to have this continuous just beef and then just arguing with players, I understand that's who you are, but you have to know your limit. Put a Rudy Gobert in a chokehold? In a chokehold. I understand sticking up for your guys, but, ha but understand the situation. Understand that your team doesn't need a – it's not a wake-up call. It, it's not a call – this is not firing them up. This is only hurting them even more. Putting guys that now have to play heavy rotation minutes today that weren't ready to do so. It's just, it's just upsetting. Upsetting. And the team and – the, and the guy they're facing, the, this was supposed to be a very highly anticipated matchup. Highly anticipated matchup. And now Draymond Green, through his selfishness, has ruined that. Because Anthony Edwards is a rising star in this league. Dare I say, superstar. That is the, that is the category he is entering in right now.